Margaret Reynolds, a former senator and a member of the First Council for Aboriginal Re Reconciliation. We have the Bringing Them Home uh, report, which was a landmark re report and very significant, not just in 1997, but for what it said of Australia's past and what it w uh, tried to say about Australia's future. 20 years on, you have to say there were opportunities that were so lost uh, because the momentum, the commitment, the, uh, the goodwill, if you like, was there in many parts of Australia. But I have to say, in 2017, if I knew then what I know now, I'd be very disappointed in the response. This document that I'm referring to is um, my response to the uh, uh, Bringing Them Home report. Um, we, in our office in North Queensland, received many letters and many uh, phone calls and just expressions of apology. And so I decided to put them together in a book. And I think when you read them, you know, the, the intentions were wonderful, but the intentions have not been implemented significantly across Australia. What really needs to be done is an analysis of everything that was said 20 years ago by state, state um, governments and oppositions and almost a, a review or an audit of, well, where did that leave uh, the, uh, public commit, uh, the commitment to public policy? I mean, apologies are significant, of course. Words are important but you also need to put those words into action. My key message would be that what you're doing in um, marking the anniversary is the opportunity for a fresh start and uh, to remind people that 20 years ago, Australians were shocked, Australians wanted to see change, they wanted to see reform in a whole range of areas. 20 years on from the Bringing Them Home report, there's so much more that needs to be done. And governments really need to have much more faith in local Indigenous communities and work closely with them.